All right, folks, right now the hottest party in America is at Art Basel in Miami, which has gotten a bolt of lightning, particularly because of NFTs. Think about this. Last year they sold less than $14 million in the first half of the year. This year already $2.5 billion. And it's all part of this crypto digital evolution that's invigorated the Gen Z crowd. And really, I think they're on a path to their own liberation. One of the leaders, Randy Hipper, is with us now. She's made a big splash in the movement. Randy, it's so great seeing you. It's so great having you on the show. I know you're an uh, NFT artist, and I want to know, how's it going? It's going absolutely amazing. I love NFTs and I love what's going on in the space right now. There's a lot of meetups and there's a lot of collaboration. Yeah, I mean, but how did this just blossom like? It just, it just, you know, I, we have people, right, earlier in the year, the 69 million, it got everyone's attention, but it, it seems like this is something, uh, uh, you, you, you're part of the team movement that the Gen Z crowd has really taken as their own. Yeah, people selling that NFT for $69 million was definitely a milestone in this space. Granted that it created a lot of movement and a lot of people noticed NFTs at that point and noticed the strength they had. So I saw what you tweeted uh, because it's not just NFTs. You're, you're in this whole thing. You like it all. Bitcoin, uh, the blockchain, where you tweeted, if you love freedom, buy Bitcoin. Explain that. Sure, no problem. If you love freedom, buy Bitcoin. Essentially what that means is that with Bitcoin, we now have the opportunity to control our value and control our funds. So you basically are in control of your money and you're being your own bank, which is something really empowering. You're an evangelist uh, for teens getting into all aspects of this digital blockchain revolution. What do you say to them that resonates the most? I say go out there and have fun, which isn't something that people normally say when it comes to cryptocurrency and NFTs because we're focused on a lot of the financial aspects. People need to go out there and have fun and realize that we could be our own store and we could put out a lot of creative content, which is a lot what a lot of people have been doing, like people putting out art, musicians with music and albums now. It's, it's getting pretty insane. I got to tell you, I'm really proud of you. I'm glad you came on the show. Hopefully we can cut things. Touch base again, because uh, this thing is, looks like it's just getting started. Oh, yes, for sure. Thank you so much for having me. NFTs and crypto, it's the future, and I'm just so excited to be a part of it. Yeah, thank you so much, Randy. Folks, we'll be right back. Thank you.